Hi everybody, thank you so much for clicking on my channel and for joining me for this true crime conversation. Um, I came across an article where um, the criminal in this article says something that a lot of criminals say and it just blows my mind how they can think that saying this particular thing makes them appear innocent in any kind of way because when they use this excuse of explaining their actions it just indicates guilt a thousand percent and I will get more into it once I get through the facts of the case so I was reading this article about a young girl by the name of Zion Foster 17 years old from East Point Michigan I think it's somewhere near Detroit Zion Foster had been missing since January the 4th of 2022, and she was last known to be seen with her 23-year-old cousin, Jalen Brazier. So on the night of January 4th, around 10.45 p.m., she wanted to hang out with her cousin, which her mother described as um, Jalen was one of her favorite cousins. I think she even had him saved in her phone as Favo, F-A-V-O, uh, meaning favorite cousin or favorite. So at 1045, she asked her mom if she could hang out with Jalen. I guess her mom said yes. So Jalen came, picked her up. And around 1259, her mother receives a text from Zion's phone with just three letters, OMW, indicating I'm on my way or on my way. Zion never came home that night. So the next day, her mother is in full panic mode. She talks to Jalen. Jalen says, I don't know why Zion would even implicate me because I didn't even see her that night. So the mom is like completely shocked that he would even say that because she knew for a fact that her daughter was hanging out with Jalen the night before. So when law enforcement gets involved and they start questioning him because allegedly he was the last person to have been with her before she disappeared, he completely denies seeing her. He completely denies being in her town. The mom was flabbergasted that he could lie so boldly because the mother said, I even saw him recently, a lot sooner than the time frame that he's giving as far as when the last when the last time it was that he was in our town because he claimed that he hadn't been in that area in about a year or more where the mother had said I had seen him pretty recently and I know that he was with my daughter um, on January the 4th so he stuck to his story that he hadn't seen her at all around the time that she disappeared well of course the law enforcement you know they do their digging they do their investigation and they pull phone records and the phone records definitely show that he was with her that he was um in her town and i guess that he had been around the area of her house took her back to the area of where he was staying at so the phone records don't lie so he ended up confessing saying yes of course yeah I was with her we were hanging out so then his story changed it went from didn't see her at all wasn't nowhere near her town now he changed it to I went to her house I picked her up took her back to my house we were hanging out smoking marijuana I left the room I came back she was unconscious he said that at some point it appeared that she had passed away so he panicked and this is the part that I'm talking about here. The things that criminals say that that they think make sense to the rest of us. So he says he panicked and then he says that he took her body and put it in the trunk of his car and he drove to a dumpster and he disposed of her body at the dumpster. So why would any innocent person take the body of someone who appears to be deceased put them in the trunk of their car and then dispose of their body because an innocent person would have called 911 at the very least called her relatives called her mother called someone and try to figure out get advice like what do I do this girl was passed out in my in my home what do I do? so the the last thing an innocent person would do would be like I'm going to lug this dead body into my car drive to a dumpster and then dump it off at the dumpster 
it just blows my, and this is something that criminals, I've heard this so many times uh, from different criminals where they'll say that they came across a deceased body, they panicked, somehow they didn't want to be implicated in the death of this person, so they decide to get rid of the evidence, i.e., the, the corpse, because they feel like, you know, if anybody saw the dead body, somehow they would implicate them in this person's death. So they are going to go ahead and get rid of the body so that they don't get in trouble. Why would this make sense to anyone? It just blows my mind, the dumb things that criminals say. So he was arrested for giving um, a false report, a false, um, false information to the police. Um, right now, um, I, I don't know if, they, oh, they ended up, they did find her body. No, they didn't find her body. They are, they found the area where they believe her body to be. I think they said that her body was buried 100 feet below the ground. And so not only did he like dispose of her body, he actually had buried her body because I think they said that her body was a hundred feet underground um, around the area that he claims that he had disposed of her body. So he basically, I guess he buried her body and it's just, it's just like, what, why do you think that makes any sense to say that you got rid of, of, of a dead body? But you're innocent. You're completely innocent because he hasn't confessed to the murder at all. So he's sitting in jail. I think that they're waiting until they find the body and they're able to do an autopsy to hopefully come up with the cause of death and see if they can somehow link him to the death of his cousin, his own cousin, and um, hopefully charge him with murder. So, you know, you wish that you could live in a society where when someone says something so crazy like that, you can just instantly arrest them for murder. But, you know, you need the evidence to back up the arrest the probable cause, whatever you want to call it. And, um, the things that it's like, dude, you did it. You, you did this. This is what you did because an innocent person would not have moved the body at all because there's this thing called nine one one that most of us would have utilized upon seeing our cousin either passed out unconscious or possibly deceased. Yeah. So I just had to get that off my chest. It's just one of the things that really frustrate me that I hear criminals say. If you made it this far in my video, really do appreciate it. Rate the video on your way out. If you like this content, subscribe. If you don't, don't worry about it. Thank you for stopping by anyway. And I will definitely talk to you later.